Welcome back to Rome Total War Skippy Eye Campaign, doing the No Post Marion Unit Recruitment Challenge. In our last episode, we had just taken Corinth and Byzantium, and we're trying to hurry up and uh, push out as fast as we can so we can beat the Broody Eye before they upgrade their capital and trigger the Marian reforms. So, looking at the. So, if we take a look at our um, total stats here. It is uh, summer of 246 BC, and in my last campaign as the Brutii, at this same point in the game, I had controlled 21 regions, uh, but I only won 88 battles. And here I have, I only have 19 regions, but I've won 125 battles. So I'm a little bit behind the pace that I was as the Brutii. The game's been a lot more challenging because I've had to f do a lot more fighting. Um, I've had to deal with uh, a lot of difficulties with uh, Dacia as well as Numidia. So the Brutii campaign is definitely a lot easier. And just being positioned here closer to Greece... And my decision to take Padavium and then getting attacked by Dacia and taking these territories, uh, I just spent a lot of my time dealing with that. But I hope things will start to pick up and I'm going to start moving out a little bit faster. Try to get as many cities as I can before the Marian uh, reforms and then get as many units as I can trained up before the Marian reforms. So let's just uh, continue that here. One of the things I'm really hoping for is a plague. And uh, if you look at Tarentum over here, they don't have any sewers. So they, there's a chance that they could get a plague. And I don't know about Aretium. I can't see their building. So I don't know if we'll get a plague here. My uh, spy is not good enough to get in here. I'm trying to train him up by just spying on diplomats and stuff. I don't, don't want to take the risk. 49% chance success. That's not good enough for me. So I'm going to go ahead and train up with my guys over here in Byzantium. And I'm going to go ahead and recruit a ship to get them to move out against... Uh, I, I don't want to go to war with Greece uh, just yet. I may send a few troops down here to take Kydonia. They only have one garrison in the city. I believe the in my last campaign they had a bunch of troops sitting in an ambush. So I'm going to have to be careful of that. I have to make sure and bring enough to take care of them. But I think I am going to go ahead and do that um, before I take on Greece. So it looks like the Brutii have got another large army over here that they're going to send out over into Asia. So I've got to get moving pretty quickly. Okay, I'm going to move this force out of uh, Corinth. That should be enough to deal with. Uh, I'm going to get one more Hastatis. Deal with any troops down in uh, Kydonia. Let's get them on the move. I'm going to send this Hastati back to Larissa to be retrained. And let's get some troops down back to Corinth just to uh, uh, protect against if Greece wants to start something against us. I'm also going to move these guys out of Thessalonica. And I'm going to get some mines in Thessalonica. Going to give us some additional income. We do have this army from Dacia coming down south. So I have to try to keep a few troops. But I'm going to send some Hastati down just to help out with Greece. I think this should be... We can continue to train up here. Last turn I built some uh, peasants over here in Padavium Because I want to try and grow uh, Luvavum. So I'm going to disband these guys here. We've got a long way to go. Still just uh, 1,000 population. And we need to be a little bit concerned about this army. Just a couple troops, but they got more over here. So if they combine those, they might move south into this province. we got to continue to reinforce against Dacia. I'm going to get the uh, militia barracks over here in Segestica so that we can start training up um, Hastati here. I'm going to go ahead and just get another spy to keep eyes on Dacia. 
And over here in Lily Biome, I'm going to get a ship right. And it looks like we're already out of money. It's crazy how fast it goes. All right, with that, I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. Well, here comes Greece. They just attacked me. All right, they want us to blockade Sparta. We should be able to make that happen. Gain some popularity with the Senate. All right, looks like uh, Greece has a pretty uh, large army. A lot of armored hoplites who are really tough. They got 24 defense and 11 attack. And I don't have too much here to defend Corinth, so... I might have to recall this army, but I think I'm going to go ahead and take uh, Kaidonia. They don't have walls, so I should be able to solve the city right now. So let, let me go move my army down here. Oh, we got ambushed. Exact same thing happened last time. Uh, they have two Cretan archers, some militia hoplites, Sicilian pirates. We don't have a lot of cavalry, so we'll have to make sure we rush in there with our infantry and try to neutralize those Cretan archers as soon as possible. And I have to remember, these Cretan archers have decent melee, eight melee. So if I charge with my cavalry, I should be okay. But an extended fight with them, uh, especially since I don't have full-size equ equites, it, it's probably not a good idea to go directly at their archers with my cavalry. All right, here they are. We're gonna go head out right away. Get double time, send out my cavalry double time onto their flanks. They do have uh, some hoplites. Let's go ahead and uh, hit those with our missiles. Let's uh, try to get around those hoplites. Don't want to be dealing with... Don't hit those guys head on. There you go. And got to get my cavalry hit their flanks. Remember, I, I don't want to take any casualties. Or as few casualties possible because... Um, I don't... I am going to have to deal with uh, Greece pretty soon with this army as well. The Sicilian pirates are doing a number two. Let's go ahead. Okay, those guys are all routed. Let's uh, get these guys, but I want to, I don't want to take too many casualties, so I'm uh, sending these guys out like this. Come on, cavalry, get behind them. Let's go, everybody charge in there. Hopefully they route soon. The Let's rally. Press forward. We got their general. We got him. All right, not a bad victory. I uh, lost 125. I killed 614. We should eliminate that army pretty easily. And let's go ahead and take Kaidonia. And what do they got? Just some militia hoplites. We should be able to wipe them out pretty easily. So I should be able to take them out with just my archers alone. I'm not sure if we have the range to hit them from over here, though. I might have to move a little fo forward a little bit. Yeah, it looks like we're out of range here. We're going to have to start moving up. I'm going to get my Hastadis to move up first. All right, let's get our archers moving up a little bit closer. I'm moving my Illyrians up. As well as these Histadis. I don't want them attacking my Cretan archers. If they do try, I think I'll be protected by my Histadis. Alright, let's send my archers out there to charge. Alright, they're coming. I don't know where they're going. Here they come. Go ahead and charge. Let's get my cavalry charging. I don't know if that's a great idea. Halt these guys. Let 
Let's try to send these back. Halt my general. And we did it! We, army is we finished them without taking a single loss. And I'm going to go ahead and enslave the population. Let's go ahead and upgrade the city to uh, Governor's Villa. I'm going to recruit a peasant. And this is... Hopefully I can get some Cretan archers. Yes! That's what I came here for. I'm going to get this my spy into Sparta. Which has walls now. I'm going to move most of this army out. And I do low taxes, no public order. I do want to get this army moved out though. So I am going to keep Marcellus here. Wait, 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 wait. I can't even take that Cretan Archer. So we're at low tax rate. Well, I wonder if I can go ahead and get Marcellus and that guy out. All right, let's get my fleet moving back with Marcellus and the army. We've got that new Cretan archer. I had to leave behind a Roman archer and an Equites. We're training as many peasants as we can. We can do normal taxes. Uh, hopefully we're not too late to help out with Corinth. We've got a little bit of a reinforcement army, but unfortunately they have this really big stack over here. I'm just gonna send my army over here by next to the city. Get as many troops as I can to reinforce if we do get attacked next turn. Unfortunately, looks like the uh, Brudii are uh, blocking us from being able to get troops from Thessalonica. Send a little bit of, of my fleet to take on this uh, Numidian navy and then they'll blockade Spar Sparta next turn. Got to get my guys off here and join this uh, reinforcement, reinforcing troops over here in uh, Corinth. Hopefully they don't attack and hopefully they don't bring this army up and attack me with both their armies. That would be really, that'd be the worst scenario, worst case scenario. Let's get this army around. Unfortunately, the Broody I had to block my reinforcements. And I'm going to get a forum over here in Larissa. I think uh, Blizora, I'm going to get some crop rotation. I don't know where this army's marching, if they're going to head out to Segestica or if they're going to attack me here in Blizora. But I think I need to move out right away, which means I have to fight these rebels first. Attack! Victory! All right, let's go ahead and hit this station army. The they have. Wow, look at them. They have their chosen swordsmen and they have some onagers. It's one to one. We don't have a general, neither do they. Let's go ahead and fight this on the map. All right, they've got these massive mountains over here, which is it's going to really hurt our ability to hit them. And they've got their onagers, which will have unlimited range from up here. This is really a huge disadvantage for us. Let's see if we can go ahead and take the hills. Wondering if I can get them to charge after my uh, my general over here. Uh oh, their honors are preparing to fire. Everybody run! Okay, they wasted their their fire at my general. Let's see, we're still fresh. Let's see if we can get them to charge us those are Falksmen. let's just keep them moving so they don't fire their onagers get away from them please if they keep adjusting it'll eventually tire them out and or maybe I'll get an opportunity to hit their onagers with my cavalry All right, my infantry is slowly marching up. Well, we're already winded. Let's not get boxed in here, though. At least I'm giving them some exercise. Getting these guys winded as well. 
It won't be just my units winded. All right, let's uh, let's take care of these uh, Falksmen. No, they're backing off. Here they come. Okay, they're in our missile range. We are hitting them with our archers. They've got guys coming. Let's get out of there. Let's back off. Get our infantry running. Let's charge. See if we can route these guys pretty quickly, hopefully. Got him. Enemy General Fleas. Press forward so the spirit of his army is broken too. And that's their general, so. That really helps out. All right, let's back off our Equites. I think I killed enough. They only have 14 guys. Those guys should be eliminated. There's their chosen swordsmen. They're going to be really tough. Let's get some Hastatis up the hill. Try to flank these guys, the warband. All right, looks like they're doing another crazy charge over here. That's good for us. Let's get our cavalry. Whoops, no, no. Looks like they are doing a full-on assault. Let's get these guys to charge up. Okay, these guys are backing off. They're routed. I think they're doing a full retreat now. Yeah, they're retreating. Let's go take out their onagers. I don't know if I don't think I'll be able to catch them though. I mean, the rest of these guys. Okay, I took out their onagers. Let's uh, try to get in front of these chosen swordsmen. Delay them. I don't want to fully engage. But if I can get my infantry to catch up. All right, I think they're close enough. I need to go in and charge. Let's just go like that. And we got them surrounded, so we should, they should route without giving us much resistance yep all right and there we go a heroic victory we uh, only lost 63 guys we killed 644 pretty nice hey there we go we got a man of the hour a good commander and a bureaucrat pretty good let's uh, let's take them we needed another general all right, let's go ahead and hit this station army over here. They have uh, nothing but infantry, and this is a pretty, we've got a pretty well-rounded arm army, so we should make pretty quick work of this group. All right, pretty flat terrain this time. Let's get our missile units up front. Let's get our cavalry on a flanking maneuver on the right flank. Our left, Frank, they're right. Looks like they are charging me. Means I need to halt and start throwing missiles right away. Which makes sense that they're charging me because... Wow, look at that. They backed off. And they're in missile range. Let's back off our cavalry. Let our missiles do their work. Uh, looks like our archers are out of range. Let's get them up. All right, let's get our cavalry. Oh, nope, they're stopping. They get into missile range and then they just stop, which is really good for me. I want to do as much damage with my javelins and arrows as possible before engaging. Let's back off our infantry. 
I mean our cavalry. No need to engage until we're exhausted of missiles. They may be retreating, yeah. But we should be able to catch them with our infantry. Let's get our cavalry to cut them off. They're winded because they were running around in circles. Our guys are fresh. We should be able to catch them. Let's go, guys. Hurry up. Get there. Uh, these guys are broken already. Let's just leave one group. Get the rest keep going. One group to engage. Come on, infantry. You need to catch up. Our Lyrians are doing pretty good. Let's go, let's charge. I don't want him to get away. Uh, we are gonna take some heavy casualties, unfortunately. Cause our infantry couldn't catch up. All right, we got a mass route. Let's go ahead and take him out. Unfortunately, we did lose a lot of cavalry. Uh, cavalry. All right, well, we lost 145 guys. That was mostly cavalry. We killed 1,200. Not too bad. No man of hour, the hour this time. So they do have another army coming this way. Two units over here. Another unit there might want to send a couple guys back. I do have reinforcements coming. We can get this guy in the city. I think I'm going to send a couple Hastadis back. I think, uh, I don't think I need them. I'm going to send a couple guys back just to help out in defense. And then I'm going to move forward and attack this group. And they're reinforcing it with their city. They've got their faction leader. Uh, I should be able to take them out and take the city. All right, let's fight this on the map. The okay, fight. so they've brought um, their faction leader and some Falksmen. And they've got... Over here, it's just some archers and warband. I'm going to try to take these guys out. I imagine the faction leader is not going to... We're not going to be able to get their faction leader. So let's go ahead and just get my uh, cavalry up. Let's go ahead and start uh, engaging with their archers. And get my infantry moving forward too. Alright, let's go ahead and take these guys out real quick. And imagine their faction leaders retreating now too. No, he's still coming forward. Let's see if we can catch him. I don't think I can take him with my uh, cavalry alone. I'm gonna have to hit him with my. Yeah, it looks like these guys are gonna get away and get back into the city. That's fine. All right, well, I lost only 20 guys. I killed 399, but unfortunately their faction leader got away. We're going to have to besiege him. And no man of the hour, unfortunately. But we can go ahead and assault this. They do have one onager over here. I'm not sure what they have in their capital. Okay, they've got about five units. And whatever it is here, we should be able to handle them with our three... Hestadis and an archer. We got some cavalry coming to help out too, but they'll they're a couple turns away. All right, over here in Numidia, we've got um, Nepti under siege. We're gonna go ahead and assault that, and he just has a bunch of skirmishers. So let's go ahead and fight him. All right, so we've got him surrounded into three groups. We're gonna go ahead and. Uh, Get our ramps to move forward. 
Let's get our Velites to move forward as well as archers. And hit them from every side. I wonder if I'll be able to hit them if I go like this. Move a little bit forward. Yeah, there we go. We're hitting them. Alright, we got the gates broken into. We're taking heavy missile damage. Let's go ahead and charge in there. Get our equites too. And this is uncontested. Let's get in there. As well. Oh, it looks like we got some friends joining us. So let's go ahead and uh, take them. And the main gate. Let's get in there as well. Okay, we got these guys to route. That's good. Let's just keep checking on everybody. Okay, these guys are going to halt. Get over here. Get over here. Come on. Don't. We're not ready to engage just yet. Alright, how about the front gate? Okay. We're dealing with guys over here. Let's uh, not move my general up here yet. We got their general over here. Can I get my equites to try to get them? Alright, let's go ahead and charge out. These guys are just, uh... Go ahead and charge everybody in here. Let's have my general rally. We're in trouble over here at this gate, because that's their general's bodyguard. I do not want to charge my general. But we've got their town square. Let's go ahead and send this equity to hit their flanks. And uh, we're taking heavy losses due to their general's bodyguards. Let's go ahead and get our general in there finally. And if we can get him to route. Where is he? We should be able to win the siege. Okay, we killed him and we won the siege. Took some heavy casualties. 426. Okay, this city has hardly anybody in it. Just like 400. Let's just go ahead and occupy. We can't even get uh, peasants. I'm going to walk over here a little bit and get some watchtowers. And get them over here. Get the army to join them. Fortunately, even at low tax rates, these guys are going to rebel on us. Wow, I've got this huge army in here. I've got more soldiers than they do population. And yet, we're only at... 80% public order. I'm gonna have to wait to move my troops out. So they have 3% growth rate. Well, it won't be too long. I won't have to wait too long. I'm gonna get my spy over in Dimity. Searching for clues. And keep an eye on their capital. Alright, just as I feared, the Julia are headed into Spain. 
We've got a large Spanish town, Osco, over here. Uh, my only hope is if I can get an army out right now and get into Oscar next turn. Hopefully they get delayed. Alright, I'm going to send this queso down here and deal with this Numidian army, which is also mostly skirmishers. I don't know what is the deal with Numidia and skirmishers. They're just... Go crazy with them. All right, uh, here they come. They've got sending out their missile cav right away. Maybe I can strike them with my uh, cavalry. At least I can protect my infantry. Here we go. Getting this good. Group. Let's back off. Let's not engage there them just yet. I'm gonna take their right flank with my cavalry. Get these slingers. And I think my infantry can hold up just fine while I deal with their flanks. Let's get our cavalry. Continue to attack. Get these uh, javel javelin men. Just take them out one unit at a time on their flanks. We are taking a few casualties. I am going to send my infantry forward. I don't know why I sent my general. Let's just keep my cavalry together. Get my infantry. They're moving out. Get my general up here. They're routed. Killed their general. I don't think the they have anything left except for some skirmishers. We've killed 85%. Alright, pretty easy victory. We just lost 92 guys. We killed over 2,000. Good. And let's get them marching on their capital. All right, I think I'm gonna march out of Byzantium. Let's see if I can go lower my taxes. Wow, I'm gonna have to send a bunch of guys, leave a bunch of guys here. Let's do a couple of Hastatis. Still at 55%. Oh no, we've got a broody eye assassin here. I don't know if he's gonna target us or not. Let's leave some Equites. What's that down to 60%. I think that's all I want to leave. I need money. I'm going to cancel some some buildings. I think I can wait on the proconsul's palace over here and make sure I train up Byzantium full of peasants. There we go. Let's get one more. And then uh, I think I could get something here like uh, um, something that takes three turns. Can we train him? I'll go get a, an arena here. Get some farms in Carthage, and that's it. No more money. Man, we run out of money so quickly. Oh, look at this large rebel army, too. Okay, looks like Numidia is sending guys out from the east as well after us. But it'll take them a long time to get to us. Although we can't train up because we don't have any money. We have a few troops here to deal with them. I think that should be enough. All right, let's get Gaius Victor on the ship here. We're gonna send him out after Pergamum. All ashore. Looks like, uh, oh, that's Pontus. Pontus has Pergamum, not Greece. So I think gr all that Greece has left is uh, Sparta. Interesting. So I don't know if I want to do this now. And I have no money to support my troops, but 
I've got to keep moving out faster. Uh, this really makes me mad that the Julii moved out on against Spain. That's rough. So I got my spy in Aretium, and uh, they have a 0.5% population growth. They have 19,000 troops, but I noticed this. They've got the large temple of Ceres, which gives a 1.5% population growth, which is crazy. Look at their income, negative 2,918. How do they build such huge armies? But again, no sewers here, so I'm hoping for um, a plague somewhere. No sewers here in Tarentum either. They're up to 19089 with 0% population growth. Well, I guess if the Julia take Oscar, it's not the end of the world, even though it's a large town. That'll give them like 4,000 population or something. Ugh, that puts them really close to the 2400. I need a plague. I need a plague really bad. And it could even be a plague in my capital or in any of my cities around Italy. If I get a plague, I can, I think I can get an agent in the city, get him infected, and then send him to the, to the, uh, Brudii and Julii cities. I think I am going to go hit these rebels over here in, uh, Lipsis Magna. Hopefully I can get back to my city. Uh, not too bad. We got some Iberian infantry, some rebel generals. We got 11 attack, 14 defense. But a lot of peasants, a lot of sk skirmishers, so let's go ahead and fight them. Alright, we took them out pretty easily. We did lose 66 guys, but not too bad. Let's get back into Lepsis Magna. And I can retrain one Equites. Let's just go ahead. Oh, and my Hestades. Good. And Velites. We're down to 42 Denarii. So many cities that we can't build anything in because we just don't have any money. But we're going to take another city here, Dimidi, and then up here in Dacia, we'll take another city. And I may just, let's go ahead and engage these guys too. Got another battle to fight. Alright, well, 561 kills and 22 losses. Alright, well, that was a very action-packed turn. Let's go ahead and end our turn and hopefully we don't lose Corinth. Scythia wants an alliance and map by information. Sure, why not? Okay, we're being attacked by a rebel navy. This is over here in uh, by Kaidonia. It is a three to two. We have a slight advantage, but uh, not enough. Let's let's hope we can win it. All right, just an average victory, but I'll take it. I think I got a. Uh, Admiral Star for that. Nice. Okay, we didn't lose Corinth. So that's good. They still got a big army over here. Okay. The Julia are right on the the cusp of Oscar. Let's go ahead and land here. Yes, Captain. Off the boats. And look at that. Looks like I have just enough movement points to besiege Oscar before the Julia I get here. Yes. Oh, yes, I'm so excited about this. Let's go ahead and besiege Asuka. Oh, that's great. I was able to beat the July. So glad they didn't go to siege. Go to besiege the town. It's a large town. I imagine it's got a lot of people. All right, let's get our, our army back into Greece, and maybe we can lift this siege. Set sail! All Alright, let's attack this force. We should have enough guys to take him. It's a 3 to 2, so it's not going to be that easy. They've got some militia cab, but mostly hoplites, so we'll have definitely have a great mobility advantage. We also have a couple of Cretan archers and Roman archers, so we should be able to handle them pretty easily. All right, let's get my infantry up a little bit and get my archers up and cavalry over here for flanking. Okay, it looks like they might be running away. Nope, they're just getting information. That's good. I do not want them to run away. 
Maybe I can take out their uh, ballistas quickly. Nah. But I will try to get around them. Halt. What are you guys doing? Halt. Get my infantry. Run. Halt. Get my cavalry on my flanks. Alright, I'm sure my Christian archers are doing plenty of damage. Although these guys are armored. But we're hitting these guys in the back. Just make sure we hit them in the flanks if we can. And not just head on. Let's get our reinforcements double timing. It'll take forever to get here. I'm gonna try to throw some peel at these uh, hoplites. The arrows aren't doing too much damage. Because we're hitting them head on instead of in the rear. Let's okay, let's have these guys halt, throw their pila, and then retreat. Let's get a group over here to flank them. Let's go ahead and flank them. Alright, charge before we hit them head on. Get them surrounded. Okay, they're routed. Hit them in the back, Christian archers. Alright, let's get these guys over here to take care of these hoplites. Stay away from with our cavalry. All right, get our cavalry to come back. We threw our pila. Charge! Charge! All right, good. Get these guys to turn around. All right, let's take out their ballistas. They're running. I don't want to take two heavy casualties by charging in these hoplites, but I might. Let's see if we can get our infantry to catch up with them. Okay, we took out their ballistas. Alright, I think I am going to charge these guys. And I got them. Alright, pretty good victory. They did... Uh, get 500 half their army escaped but not too bad we took out their ballistas we took out a bunch of armored hoplites and let them retreat into Sparta ah we got a Greek turncoat that that'll be helpful especially in this uh, this field of battle so it looks like uh, Nepti still has uh, really high unrest. I'm going to get Queso back into the city, see if he can help out enough so that I can destroy the Temple of Ball. That'll give us a negative 10%, but we can get Saturn, which will give us 10% and also reduce the culture penalty a little bit. Still can't recruit any peasants, uh, but we're populations up to 500. Um, I'm wondering if I should just disband Velites. So I'm going to go ahead and try that. I'm going to disband the Velites, and then I should be able to recruit a peasant. So that would give me a net positive uh, troops. It also lowers my population. Um, and next turn, I might be able to move some of my troops with Saturn and those peasants. I might be able to move out some of this army. 
So I'm going to go ahead and complete the mission from the Senate to uh, blockade Sparta. And I can reinforce these guys with my a bigger fleet. Once I get these guys retrained, and I think I can get some reinforcements coming down too. I'm going to hit this uh, Spanish fleet over here. And send these guys down here. Oh, and get him one more time. Oh no. I wasn't able to finish him off. I'm going to get these guys to go and uh, start picking up reinforcements for our Spanish invasion. Alright, let's get this army marching out to Dimitri. Alright, let's go fight this uh, Dacian town up here. They just have their faction leader and the Falksman. We saw him last turn, but we weren't able to catch him. Alright, let's get our rams forward. Get our archers forward. I think I see somebody. That's their faction leader right there. Let's uh, see if we can hit them with our archers. Get our Illyrians up here as well. They'll probably retreat back to the town square. All right, let's get everybody in the gates. I'm going to try to lure them out with my archers. Maybe try to hit them from two different sides if that's possible. But let's get everybody in first. With their faction leader here, it's going to be quite dangerous. 89 heavy calves, so I'm going to have to try to surround them if I can. All right, we're going to form a little U-shape like this and get our archers right down here that's probably not close enough so we'll have to get we'll have to move them up a little bit all right let's move my archers up here and see if they take the bait uh, they don't need to run just yet and that should be pretty close to range might have to move them forward just a little bit yeah just a little bit let's try this let's get Histadis up a little bit. All right, moving my archers up just a li just a little bit, and that should give them the range. Here we go, and I'm guessing they're gonna charge. Be ready for it. Nope, they're just gonna sit there and take it. Okay, here here they come. Let's go. Get down. Run. Let's get encircle them. Let's go charge. Get out of there, archers. Oh, I should have had my Illyrians in the out of skirmish mode. Let's get all my cavalry. Charging. Man, these guys are deadly, aren't they? But they're shaking already. We got them. Ah, oh, but it looks like he's going to escape. Let's see if we can hit him with missiles. Let's get our infantry moving out towards the square. Ah, how did he escape? That's too bad. Actually, you know what? Um, maybe we should back off. Let's just back off and try this again. We have time. 13 heavy cav left. And they these guys are tough. These guys are still... These guys are Falksmen. Alright, let's get our archers up again. They should be in range as soon as we get in position. And we should be able to draw them out again. Here we go. This time there's only 13 of them left. 12. We're hitting the uh, not well armored Falksman, so. Alright, back up. Infantry charge. Okay, we got their general. Alright, we should be able to do a lot of damage to these Falksmen because they don't have armor. 
Okay, get back, archers. Come on, get out of there. If I take them off fire at will, will they listen? Run. Don't fight the Falksmen with those big, long, whatever those things are, swords. Or glaives, whatever they are. And I gotta keep an eye on these uh, three guys, four guys. They can still do some damage. Okay, archers, get back up here. Alright, they should be in range. Yep. Oh, why are we firing at these, uh... Guys, let's fire at the, uh, Falksman, please. Oh, hit him in the back. That's even better. Let's get our Illyrians forward. Infantry's charging up. Let's go... Charge their cavalry. Actually, wait. Alright, here we go. Everybody charge. Alright, fight. There we go, we got him. Hey, that's a really good victory. We just lost 98 guys. Nice. Alright. Probably, let's see, enslave or exterminate. We're gonna exterminate. Well, it's not a lot of money. Let's just go ahead and enslave. I thought this town would be a little bit bigger than that. It's a large town. Let's go ahead and get the paved roads first. And let's go take a look at the Dacian capital. Wow, look at that. Fully upgraded chosen swordsman. Well, I mean, silver shield and silver uh, sword. Chosen swordsman. Barbarian noble cavalry. Whew, they've got an army over here. And 10,000 population. Much bigger. All right, I'm just going to send a couple. I'm going to just send all my cav after their onagers. It should be pretty easy victory. All right, let's go. Fast as we can. Just charge these guys because I don't want to get hit by those uh, onagers. Charge. We got them surrounded. Oh, man, we did take some damage just from those guys. Man, they killed nine of us with just their onagers. Okay, where'd that army go? I know they're here somewhere. Spy? Can you find them? Moving. 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 You kidding me? Where'd they go? On my way. Moving. I don't see them at all. Well, let's get in the city. They're probably hiding here somewhere. They might have retreated back. But maybe they're hiding over here. So they do have a sacred grove over here. I may want to take it out. But I'm retraining a lot of guys. So I think we're going to get that morale bonus. So that would be really useful for one turn. Just retrain everybody. Let's get another Equites. Well, we can get Secundus over here to uh, Engage the enemy. hit him. And then we'll have him surrounded. Yeah, we'll get this army out of this city over here next turn and combine it with Secundus and then uh, besiege their capital. Well, we have a uh, Gaius Victor over here. I was thinking of going after Pergamum, but because it's a Pontus territory, I don't want to start another war with Pontus. And I'm afraid that if I... I'm worried that the Brudi I would just, like, march out and instantly wipe out Pontus and get some of their cities. And uh, I don't know what they're just do sitting out here with this large army. But I think I'm going to wait. And, you know, we don't have much infantry here. We left our infantry back in Byzantium. So we're going to go ahead and load up our ship and uh, pick up our infantry and then come back um, and take them out at other times. You know, this would be like the perfect opportunity because they got half their army outside of the city, but no, we're going to get in our boat and get back into Byzantium. We can raise our taxes, get more money. I am going to continue to build. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely going to get rid of this uh, shrine to Athena and get Saturn over here. Instead of the marketplace. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in it here. Thank you for watching. Bye.